Scrawler Box unboxing video. So this is September's box. Um, the only reason I already know that it is is because I had to open it up to make sure that it was because... Um, yeah, it's a long story. We're not going to get into it. Anyways, this is September's box. So let's um, actually open it and I'm going to show you guys what was in the box. Um, yeah. So it came... Uh, dismantled for this, which uh, oftentimes happens for me, so that's okay. So we got the little Q thing for it. So I'm really actually excited about this. So let's get all of these out here because it's really cool. Let's get rid of this. There we go. All right. So this is something I've been waiting for for a really long time because I really wanted to see markers in these boxes because I know I've watched Scroll the Box and Box and videos for many, many years now and I've seen markers in them and I I love markers. I love it. So for September, um, we got a lot of them. Goodies. So let's start with the Scroll design um, for S September 2020. It shows you everything that is in here. Um, this is the art for this month. And the feature artist is SP0. Uh, SP0 is an illustrator and street artist based in Bristol, UK. He has a ver varied portfolio, which includes everything from live drawing, magazine art, and illustration through a large through to large-scale murals, children's book, and computer game art. He's regularly worked alongside Mitsubishi Pencil Co. promoting Posca and Uniball, and some of his other past and ongoing clients include Lamborghini, Samsung, the BBC, Lutra, Devitt Insurance, NAS Festival, and Doncaster Council. So, yeah, isn't this beautiful? So, let's... I like the little sticker. It's beautiful. Let's go over our little, uh, little titsy. So these three here are the Uni Posca pen in five millimeter. Uh, so if you didn't already know, Posca pens are paint pens. And uh, these were absolutely something I always wanted. They were in, they're in my wish list yet um, on Amazon, but I haven't gotten them because I've never played with them. So I get really wary about getting new supplies that I'm not sure about. So I'm glad these came in here. And then we got the Uni Posca pen in 3mm, um, water-based pink mint ink markers, ideal for precision and accuracy in your artwork. So these are a lot thinner and these are a lot wider. And the next thing we have is the Faber-Castell Eco Pigment Liner in 0 0.6. Um, super excited to use this. I haven't actually used a Faber-Castell uh, liner before, so this will be interested. Uh, interesting. And uh, the last uh, drawing supply in here is the Stadler Mars Lumograph Black 100B2B Pencil. So it's made for artists and designer. It has a high percentage of carbon in the lead. So this pencil delivers deep, rich blacks with a matte finish. And last but not least is always the paper that they give you. Uh, so this is the Gecko Freestyle Pad A510 Sheets. This Gecko Freestyle Sketchbook, made especially for this box, contains unique hybrid paper combining bleed-proof marker paper and Bristol board. The perfect blend for marker pens and endorsed by Posca for use with Posca paint markers. Now you guys always know that there is a little treat. So this is called the Drumstick Rhubarb Barb and Custard Flavor uh, uh, little sweet treat that they give. Um, the one thing I was really excited about is that it says vegan. Um, one thing is I haven't been able to eat meat as of late. Just the thought of it makes my stomach curl. So I've switched to vegan slash, well, not full vegan yet. So vegetarian diet for now. I'm working on getting rid of some of my stuff that is more vegetarian. Um, so I'm really excited to try this. Um, and the Scrawler Box Challenge is character creation. Um, yeah, so I'm excited for that because I love doing character creation. So let's get into jumping and testing the supplies and then we'll get into sketching and all that jazz. Woohoo! Okay, so I've actually opened every single one of the supplies here. Uh, well, took the papers off of them um, and I pulled a piece of paper from the A5 marker sketch pad. It feels 
really smooth. Um, like most marker pads that I use, um, it, it is more sturdy. Uh, some of the marker pads that I have used in the past um, have been really thin. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna test each of the supplies, starting with the pencil, the 2B pencil by Stadler. Um, I don't know that I'm actually going to sketch directly onto this paper though, just by the feel of it. I feel like it's not going to, first of all, erase very well. Yeah. And second of all, because of the texture of the paper, it just feels like I'm drawing on um, like a top of the table. So this is a really dark pen, so, so. Um, we're probably going to do a light transfer. So let's test this Faber-Castell Eco Pigment. And I'm definitely going to need to let these dry in between. Um, because, it, like you can see, it smudges really easily. So... That's because of the type of paper. So let's get some paint out of this. There we go. Oh my god. Oh, that is beautiful. Wow. So this is the coral pink color. Make sure the full nib is saturated. So this one is a lot thinner. And if I hold it lightly enough, I can get some fairly thin lines. So that'll be nice. All right, next color. That's so cool. I'm gonna gush over these because I've literally never used a Posca pen in my life. So I'm actually probably going to be able to use this to go over other colors to do highlight, which is going to be, let's get that black off of there, which is going to be nice. So like, you're not going to be able to see it on here probably, but I'm definitely applying it. And last but not least, this one is called Lavender. There we go. Oh, these colors are beautiful. It kind of reminds me of like the pastel um, colors for Lolita's or pastel goth or whatever. Um, so this is what it turns out looking like. And honestly, I'm so hyped to use this. Um, the only thing is I'm unsure uh, how I'm gonna apply this to be a character. Because that it is a character creation. So it says here, it's time to get creative and dig deep into your imagination with this month's box. We want you to step away from the landscape, portraits, and observational drawings to create something never seen before. Invent a creature or character that maybe have similarities to something else, but has never been has never previously existed. This newly created character needs to come from your imagination and born onto the page. This is the first time it will have existed, so don't forget to name them and create a little backstory too. So we're going to be doing a character design creation. So what I'm probably going to do next is jump into some sketching um, to for various characters and see what we can come up with. 
Um, I don't have a skin tone in this, so I guess we're not going to be doing a skin tone, but I, I don't typically dig into my other art supplies when I'm doing a, um, a scrawler box challenge, but I might just allow myself this one time. If not, we're going to be sticking to these Posca pens and uh, hoping for the best. Let's get into the speed paint part of this. Okay, so the biggest thing I had noticed when I was using uh, testing the uh, supplies on the paper for this is that the pencil is really hard to erase. And I've tried uh, multiple different, different type of erasers that I have. And I'm really going to have to go in really, really lightly for it not to show. Because even this one here, which was the lightest that I could press. Let's give it another try. Really lightly. Is it going to come off? And because of the type of material that this is... Um... It's going to be very difficult to get it off and it's easily markable. So like I just put my uh, fingerprint on there. And unfortunately you can't see it because things are... So I just put my fingerprint, like my fingernail in here, right here. Okay, now that you can see it. Um, and it really marked, so I'm gonna have to be really careful. So. Let's get into some sketching. Um, so the prompt for this was character creation. So let's attempt to character create. So I'm really going to go in lightly with my sketching so that I can easily erase. But a little while ago I had uh, kind of, it, it wasn't technically a character creation, I just drew something. But I really like the way that it looked, so I'm thinking that I might go in a similar direction and just kind of expand on it. doing right now is just trying to get the feel of my proportions for the character. What I had enjoyed about this character is the bagginess of the clothes. So I want to kind of keep that for her. And it used quite bright colors.
you are listening to a pre-recorded outro i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure you hit the like and the subscribe button as well as the bell to be notified and i'll see you all in the next video yumi chan over and out